on account of which it had to be classified as NPA. I have a large number of small borrowers uh, whose accounts uh, I had classified it as NPA. Uh, and uh, one, one thing I would like to mention here is that for all those advances which are 1 lakh and below, which we have classified it as NPA, most of it coming from the retail credit segment, from the micro and small enterprises segment, and also uh, little from the uh, um, retail, micro, and a little on the agricultural side. What we have done is 1 lakh and below, we have made 100 percent provision, irrespective of the requirement for provision. I have provided a lot of, uh, you know, built in lot of cushion and comfort, so that all this when it is recovered, uh, we will be in a position to have an upside as far as the, uh, the, the, uh, its impact on the profits and profitability of our operations are concerned. You see, you would have seen this year, uh, April to June, June to September and September to December, there has been a, a bit of an increase in, the, in our NPAs, but you have to uh, take into account the fact that as of 31-3-2010, our NPA level was the lowest in the industry and uh, for, uh, for, a, for a bank with an advances of over 50,000 crores, to have an NPA level below 500 crores, even if you look at it in percentage terms, you know, it was the lowest. The growth in NPA has been there as a normal trend and uh, I do not see any abnormality. There had not been cases where substantially large amount of big ticket NPAs have surfaced. Significant portion of the NPAs, the contribution has come from small ticket borrowers uh, in the micro and small enterprises and the retail credit category.